So we, we're at 10 St. John's, and I'm at the top of the steps here on the front porch. Just wanted to give you a look at the view from up here. Um, I will warn you, the home does need, need more work than what the pictures online appear, but I think it's worth consideration. So you come in to um, hardwood floors, and then immediately go into a tile floor. Um, in the, sorry, in, in, the, in the family room, living room space, and then back to hardwood. But again, the, you know, the, the, just keep it, keep an open, open mind at this price. Um, you know, maybe some updates could be done down the road. So this is, is a study in the front of the house. Um, and they have switched back to the tile here. And then this door leads to the lower level, which we will go down there in, in a bit. In the kitchen, we have the hard, hardwood floors and oak cabinets in the kitchen. They did put in the, in the, the granite. And we have a microwave oven combo here. Um, <laughs> But a, a, a nice size kitchen. So they must have replaced the dishwasher and, of course, the refrigerator relatively recently. This over here is a dumbwaiter down to the first floor, which is fantastic to, you know, let, uh, hoist your groceries up. This could be either an eating area or, as they have it, just a little sitting sitting area. You do have a uh, bonus here. At, a small half bath with with a shower in it, so like a three quarters bath in here, uh, which is nice, and then a full laundry room with a newer washer and dryer. Don't don't remember from the listing if that comes with it, but I'm going to assume that it does. And then back here in the master, you do have one. You have a fogged window, as you can see, but nice light and bright, nice high ceilings in the master. Really good size room. And they put down some new floor, newer flooring in the bathroom. This is like a, a, a tile, uh, but they kind of stop there. You know, you have the older tub and the, the mirrored walls. Uh, you do have the little water closet for the, for the commode. Shorter, single bowl vanity but it does have some nice counter space and then and then the the walk-in shower over here that is the cultured marble uh, with a little seat decent size closet master closet you probably could rework this space a bit and get some better use out of the closet but overall, um, you know, a bath that needs to be updated, but other than the vanity, the vanity is the first thing that I would probably do and then tackle the rest on an as, as needed basis. I mean, the mirror is okay and the, and the lighting is fine. Uh, but again, this, this is a really nice room in here and that just is going to need, uh, need, need a, some new glass. Coming from from the kitchen, they do have a pass through into the into the great room, and it, it's a nice size room. You have a little uh, wet bar over over on on the far corner. You could take that out. You probably could take that wall down in between the two and and put do something a, a little different with. Um, with with you know a different place for the for the TV if you wanted to um, and then this nice porch area really liking this this porch area with the tall ceilings in here letting night nice light in again it's around 3:30 in the afternoon just to give you an idea of the sun 
We have a little fog glass up, up on, on that side. We'll go outside in just a couple minutes. And then you have, this is about, I would say about the same size as the study. A uh, little closet here, your other full bath over here, which is fine. It's probably just, you know, it needs to be updated a, li a little bit, but I'm talking knobs and maybe new faucets and, and things, nothing, nothing crazy. And then your other guest bedroom back here, which depending on your bicycles, you know, on your situation, you have, a, you, you definitely will have a room um, to, to work with, uh, for those, I think, whether it be this, this room with the view or the, uh, front bedroom, if you put some different flooring in, um, or the, or the study. So that is the inside of the house. We'll go downstairs now. I just want to show you the study again and show you the, the space because actually this floor might work well for your for your bicycle room. It is a nice view out the front. Um, so that maybe that could work. Okay, let's go up back. So ni nice outdoor space. I don't know if they had something, some kind of awning or something over top here. It almost looks like they did. It maybe had something, I don't know. We'd have to find that out. Um, fenced in yard. We saw the pool uncovered and, and the spa. Of course, any of that would have to be looked at by a professional. But uh, this is this is really very nice. And then I don't know if you can see back in here. They do have screening from the golf course uh, for golf for the golf balls. Maybe this is the this might be the driving range over here. So it actually extends. Yeah, you can see it here. Extends up to keep balls out. <laughs> I think it, it looks, I mean, it, it's just a, a really nice, nice looking yard. I'm going to go back inside and then go out, uh, go down into the lower level so we can see what that journey down the steps looks like. Okay, so now I'm, I'm over here going down into the lower level. Which... They do have uh, spray foam insulation underneath the house, sprayed up in underneath the house. All of the lines are insulated. This is awesome space for, you know, covered for your cars. I'm sure you could put a garage, I, I would imagine you could put a garage door down here. Um, but then you also have all of this space for, for kayaks and bicycles and you name it. And then I, I don't know if I'll need a code. Yeah, I can't get in, in this, in this room, but maybe depending on what it is, there might be an opportunity to store, you know, to have covered storage for, for your bikes, or I'm sure that you guys could, uh, could get something geared up here. And then over there is the, the dumb waiter. It's a nice sized driveway. Uh, it's just very quiet. You have a brand new home across the street, or very new home across the street, and this this street itself just uh, dead ends. Um, a few, not too far from here. So, so just nice, quiet, and and you're really not too far from the beach. Um, 
to give you, well, you can see it on, on the map, but uh, to give you an idea, Kingston Cove, you can just barely see through the trees over there. That, those are the Kingston Cove uh, properties. So, okay, I hope this helps. I will talk to you soon.